Oh, and, oh yeah, and the Wyatt family winning this match, it's not gonna be clean. Like, Bray Wyatt winning this match, John Cena never fucking loses clean. He lost clean at TLC. Oh, well, he may fucking made an excuse for that one, right? I don't, I don't know. But John, John Cena hardly ever loses clean, and when he does, he just makes an excuse for it. It's fucking bullshit. John Cena never just fucking loses a match. He always makes an excuse. It's kind of like a, a fifth grader when they do something wrong, they always have a fucking reason why they did it wrong. They never can own up to their faults. They just, oh, I did it wrong. Screw you. Yeah, you did it wrong. No, no, you didn't do it wrong. My, my arm hurt. I forgot. No, you're a fucking retard. You just fucked up. That's what it was, okay? Douchebag. Stop making excuses for yourself and just fucking take a clean loss, John motherfucker John Cena. You fool. Alright, so next match is Fondango and Layla versus Santino and Emma. The only thing we remember about this match was that Fondango and Layla won't. We didn't really care about anything else. And if you care about anything else, you're fucking stupid. Paige is British, by the way. What? What, what the fuck are you getting information about my girl? The internet. In between the parts. I looked it up. Paige is British. Oh my god. Oh, Itachi. So she's got a British accent. Yeah, it's kind of hot. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that one. It's kind of hot. Oh, that's gonna be great. Okay, I can't wait to. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta speed through this now. I gotta, I gotta get to that. Okay, so then backstage, Stephanie McMahon was bitching at Kane for uh, letting his emotions get in the way, and, and Kane was a shell of his former self. And, th and then she screamed, like, "What happened to Kane?" So then Kane walks over to his mask, picks it up, and says. I'm going to eviscerate Daniel Bryan and send him to the depths of hell. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, I'm really shaking in me boots now. Can't wait for next week's Raw. So that was stupid. Now we have Bad News Barrett versus Dolph Ziggler. Bad News Barrett won with the bull hammer and said he was going to be the next champion. That was about it. Main event time. Here we go. We have the shield. Okay. Get get ready for this. We have the Shield versus let's let's go through them all. Del Rio, Chuck Swagger, Titus O'Neil, 3MB, Rybacksel Gay Couple, Fandango, Alexander Rusev, and Bad News Barrett. So Seth Rollins fucking amazed me again with this Punjabi over the top rope shit, and he took everybody out because he's fucking badass. Seth Rollins is a shit. I, I, you can give me feed me this Roman Reigns, oh, you can feed me this Roman Reigns bullshit all you want, but Seth Rollins is by far the most talented member of the Shield. I say it, I said it last week. I'm gonna say it again. Seth Rollins is better than Roman Reigns. I will preach it from the rooftops. <sighs> so Roman Reigns hit the spear on Ryback and, and drilled him to his buddy. So Seth Rollins took everyone out, and so then eventually the numbers gain got to the shield, and they started losing and getting their asses kicked. And so then, as they were getting their asses kicked, the Evolution music hits. Yeah, I love their song. Evolution is a mystery, full of change and no one see. That, that's a good song. Motorhead. You like Motorhead? I like Motorhead. Motorhead's pretty good. I like there's I like I like Triple H. Every one of Triple H's theme music has been fucking great. So basically, so the sh evolution comes out and uh, nobody reacted. Nobody did anything. They just stood there. Do you fuckers know who Evolution is? I know who Evolution is. I actually watched the WWE when I was a kid. Evolution were my fucking childhood bad guys. I fucking hated them. Hated them so much. With a passion, I hated them. Your evolution with your childhood bad guys? Yeah. How old are you? 17. Sasuke Uchiha. Oh, okay, well, just, just whatever. So, the evolution music hits. Orton, Batista, and Triple H come out and they just beat the shit out of the shield. Triple H sho shoves his face into Roman Reigns' his face with the microphone and says, Believe in evolution. And then, he then he's about to hit the pedigree, then he screams it to the crowd and pedigrees him, and that's how the show ended. Pretty fucking good ending. I'm glad Evolution reunited. 
So, and, and then we found out at SmackDown, yeah, SmackDown, it's going to be Evolution versus The Shield at Extreme Rules. The Shield's going to win. The entire reason Evolution is just back is to put The Shield over. At least that's how we feel. We really hope that's not true because, because Evolution seems like it's a good idea. We just hope that they're not here to put The Shield over. Especially since the shield is just getting in the company's way right now, as we said last week. They need to they need to get rid of the shield before they can give Roman Reigns the belts. So I really hope that Evolution is just not jobbing to the shield like I kinda predict. So anyway, things to take out of this role. Evolution reunited, Paige has a nice body, and uh Bray Wyatt's shit. That's about it. Have a nice day!